Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. And all the time. I'd like each of us to please take our seats as we commence this worship. The worship. At this, Job and tore his robe and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground in worship and said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. In all this, Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. Shall we pray together? Almighty God, we give you thanks this evening. Sincerely appreciate you for your mercy towards us. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are the one that gives life. Because life began from you. Thank you, Lord, because... It pleased you, O oh God, to call your son, Dr. Olushegun, on Olakbo Adisa, Shola, your home, at your own time. Lord, we pray that as we commence this worship, let your presence come fill this place in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. We have this assurance that you are here with us. And that you are going to lead, guide, and direct all we shall do here this evening. Thank you, dear Father, because we have answered our prayers. In Jesus, much less name we are prayed. the Lord. We can do better than that. Praise the Lord. Shall we arise to praise the King of glory for the privilege given to us to express this present moment. Let's begin to worship and praise him because he's worthy of our praise. Let's thank him for making it possible to be here this evening. Let's say a good thing unto the Lord for he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. Oh, you are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God. Oh, 
tears together. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. For your goodness. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. For your faithfulness. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we, we thank, thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. You are the reason for the season. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you, Papa. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We appreciate you, Jehovah. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you. Thank you. We thank Everybody you. praise the Lord now. I will praise him every day. Every day.
Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We are going to sing the opening hymn. Let's turn our pamphlets to page 13. Page 13. Servant of God, well done. Run share or Lord run share. Ebo or our Lord to marry. A mashe jerky or cany daru. A ba or lono bo. Kiesi ba imina bo. Yarapu po, no one in no ile baba me. Eco bashe bear. 
mo so fun yin pe mo nlo pese aye sile de yin bi mo ba lo pese aye sile de yin mo tun pada wa lati mo yin lo sodo ara mi ki e le wa ni bi ti emi pa pa ba wa e kuku ti mo na ibi ti mo nlo to mo si wi fun pe oluwa a ko mo ibi ti o nlo bawo ni a ti se le mo ona na jesus wi fun pe emi ni ona ati otito ati iye o si eni ti o le de odo baba bi ko se nipase mi eyi ni oro olorun Praise the Lord. Let's open our pamphlet to page 20. Page 20. Ah, what you go say, Bute? Awa Luri Joko, Nibati, I want a coring. What did he?
last verse. Our Bible um, reading will be taken from the book of First Thessalonians, um, chapter four, verses thirteen to fourteen, and it goes: "But well, we will not have you ignorant." brethren concerning those who are asleep that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope for since we believe that Jesus died and rose again even so through Jesus God will bring with him those who are falling asleep with the Lord bless the reason of his word the Lord. Let's turn our program to page 21. Page 21. Trust on. Trust on. Believer. Bekele onigbagbo bi ijano tilepe.
desire for testimonies. As we are celebrating our beloved Baba, we want to look into his life as his life had been repeatedly and severally punctuated with godliness which are worthy to be emulated. We are so many here and I know everybody would like to say one or two things. But for time, permit us to group ourselves. And we are suggesting these groups those who spent infancy and childhood with our Baba, those who had secondary education, those who shared career, neighbors, on behalf of the church, friends, then we go to the family. So let's start with those who shared infancy or childhood with our Baba. Two, two minutes eat up. Infancy and childhood. Yeah, uh, I'm representing my mom here. Yeah. So <laughs> when I stood up over there, people were saying, Wally, where are you going? I said, yes, I'm my dad. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm here representing my dad and my mom. Um, start with my mom's side. Um, she's going to be 80 this year. She would have loved to be here today. But at 88, we all know that the body is getting there. Um, when I saw her this morning, he said, Ah, me need a little bit here, mommy. Me need a little bit here, mommy. Sent me and only you won't be able to teacher. You know, she was a teacher and uh, retired as a teacher. Still, she might saw money. I will do the best I can, <laughs> daddy, in the same household. And she always tells the story up. Oh, herself and daddy went to Ibarra. Igede and in Igede at that time my mom was the one that followed that my mom is actually daddy's wife not the younger sister until they found our mommy here and then she was the one that was able to explain everything so mommy Ekwara Feraku the Lord will continue to be with you and will continue to uphold you. And then the story of my dad and daddy. They were both, uh, I know there are some people here that might be able to pick holes in some of the story. So they will redirect where I am wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's already abusing my mom. Yeah. At the time, my dad and daddy were classmates and they were all attended Owu Baptist and then the church. And it was from there that my dad knew that my mom was living with the Sholeyes. And then my who is here today in He would talk about that part. I'm telling you. 
So from my dad's side, today, mommy, along our way. Thank you. We go to those who shared infancy. We still have our Baba, the Aguru. Thank you. Too many. Thank you very much. I thank God that my cousin, a man of integrity, a man of honor, somebody who I respect too much. We are born the same year. It's only a question of months or dates. But thank God if uh, Mrs. Adebayo were here, he won't let his son speak before. Because Mrs. Adebayo, when her father brought her from the village to Adewo, to the field, to Abekuta, I was the one who took her to Mama to to children here because her grandmother is the junior sister to her father. But the point is about Onola Kocholer here. I have known him at the age of 10. We've been coming together. He is a man of integrity. One, when we are young, you know how to shoot. Because the person just can confirm that. The hunter yesterday, Patriot Bill, was a good hunter. Honor was a scout, he said. At all Baptistos, he was a choir. But one thing I thank about Honor, when he was at university in UK, London School of Economics, he lived honestly, contented, and thin. When he became a commissioner in the Western region, by grace of the president, Oliver Sandro at that time, he became the first commissioner in Ogun State in 1976. At that time, he was living in UI, and he used to come to Abekuta with my wife, who was a magistrate, for six months. They were coming together. One thing I want to tell all the children, your father lived honest, sincere life. As a good Christian, he made me to become a Christian by his active. I was born a Muslim. I was born a Kuta. And not only that, when we came, when Oluade Bayo and Uriche Gwaba Sanjok came to Abekuta, they were living together. And one day they were convincing Chegun Chegun to Mama. And Mama said, Chegun would then pay, Chegun would then pay. Mani ka ulu Chegun, ye ka Chegun. Mama ni, ono la ko ni ka ima kbele ila to ni lo. And that has been a steal for us. I will thank God that Onolapo lived a humble life. He lived in integrity life. When he was a minister, he was the one who pointed out when they have 72 suitcases at the custom. Onolapo is the one who never take bribe. When Ogun State was to build Ogun State Hotel, they went to Israeli to come and build it. They offer on the money or not refused. At that time, they have Ogo State in Abekuta, Ogo State in Nota. Where is the one Nota today? Thank God on the leaf of the thing. You children, you have an heritage to keep. Your father is contented, is happy, is honest, is above all a good Christian. You win so for Christ. And I thank God that after is their wife, God will be with you, Dupe. God will upset you. God will not leave you alone. Because for over 80 years, Abna and I have always been proud of each other. He was my best man on my, birthday, on my wedding anniversary 61 years ago. At the same time, he signed for my father. God bless you all. Thank you. We move to those who share secondary school with our Baba. Praise God. Um, 
Bali, it was so clear that Ufin uh, Kakon Sile actually a grammy at Dr. Shule Mangbe Papo when they were in Bibishas. Oh, my. Ibe, uh, Ibe, le gma me tiri mama re. Abi mo kro, lo jeli ni ya. Um, emi wadi, uh, eni tum letter, lo si diaba. Kode si, ba yen ko si yo na. And one motto, that is the only show me, and Lord Deaba, in a bear. But be or don't show we on a shoulder was very, very good in scouting, extremely good. He was very, very good in Christianity. He was extremely good. He and my senior cousin, Adebayo, were very close. Again, extremely close. And he took a tortuous journey for education. Six years in BBHS in those days. Then he went to Iwo for two years to obtain the college pivotal teacher training to obtain HE, higher elementary. Then he went to BBHS to teach. Now, when we were in school, I was with him in scout. We were together. He was very good in Latin. Very good in Latin. I was no good in, in Latin. And I was no good because we had one man called Elisami who was supposed to be teaching us Latin. And Elisami was a fraud. He was. Actually, eventually he went to jail. Uh, uh, because he didn't even know Latin. He would come to our class and say, Bonjour. If, um, if, if, is bonjour Latin. Um, and so I used to want to uh, polish my uh, Latin up with him. And it was very helpful in that. Anyway, he left school, he went to war, and then he went to Igede. She <laughs> Uh, but one 
lesson I learned from Mama Lola. I, I must say that. You know, in our part, when you have a visitor, unexpected, Mama Lola, can show me Lola, we can now. Ishuni. Ishuni. And in that film, that film, sorry, it's a pair. Po, 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 po. In that you ready? I'm on fire, or do I share in Turi? In that. Um. Then. Let me jump the issue of UK and all that. And, but let me come to Baba Lola becoming a commissioner at the regional. He was the main. Uh, Commissioner from Abeokuta in the uh, what then was called Western Western State. Uh, we've gone beyond region. We've come to state. And um, when Ogun State was created in 1975, huh? 76. Uh, no, I no, no. um, Dr. Chunoye haven't been a commissioner in Western State and Ogun State being carved out of Western State, he was transferred to uh, Ogun State. And so what uh, Otun said, um, Chief Adewolu, uh, uh, is correct. He was, in fact, he was created with the state. I think that, that, that's the way to put it. He was created with the state. Now, his performance, both as a commissioner in Western State and as a commissioner in Ogun State, of course, recommended him to become a minister in the federal. And uh, a minister of no mean order, minister of finance. And uh, that he performed very well, very well. You can ask. President Buhari, because he worked for him and he worked with him. Now, let me tell one or two stories. Uh, let me do and proceed on the. No, Abin Bola is a good girl, but these boys, <laughs> these boys, but these boys. The other day they said, uh, come and tell us some of the pata uh, games that you play. I say, you buy a, you buy a, uh, uh, how do you ask me to come and say that? But, but, but let me tell one or two stories. We, Dr. Chule is a very good shot, very good. In fact, better than mine, better than me, who is supposed to be a soldier. And he had his uh, gun, I had mine, and our brother, Bola Ajibola, bought a gun for security in his house. And where did he keep the gun? In the ceiling. <laughs> So I went to him because he told me he bought a gun. I said, look, uh, it was then Attorney General of the Federation. I said, where is this your gun? Oh, he said it's in the ceiling. I said, ah, 
Now, if you have, you said it's for security. If anybody wants to attack you in the night, how do you take the gun? <laughs> so, first of all, where he kept his gun is not the right place. So, I said, look, have you ever shot the gun? He hasn't even put it together. <clears throat> so, I helped him to put the gun together. Then, I said, look, if you will be able to use this gun for defense and security, you must have gone out to use it. Either you go to the range or you go to uh, the forest. And Oh, he said, good idea. When can we go? I said, look, don't worry. So I told Dr. Shule, I said, look, we want to do this. He said, all right. So the three of us went to Lanlate. And um, we, I didn't kill anything. But Dr. Chule saw an atiala on a tree and shot it and killed it. And atiala fell in the dam. We have a dam there then. That fell in the dam. So floating. He, he left it and went. Bola Shodun and I, we went round. We couldn't kill anything, not even Okere. We couldn't kill anything. <clears throat> so Bola Shodun then said, Look, how good will it be for him to get home and say to his wife, I said, My first day for going to Okode, Mumun Kambowale, I said, Good, it will be a good idea. So he said, that Atiala, how can we get it? And Atiala was there floating. So I said, look, wait. We have a rope for tying ram and uh, goat. You tie the rope on my waist. You hold the <laughs> rope. And I will be going, but hold the rope tight up. <laughs> and uh, we were, and we did that. In the process, Dr. Shule came and said, both of you are fools. <laughs> you two, you, former head of state, you, attorney general of the federation, and you are doing this, <laughs> you, you, you want to kill yourself? We didn't, we didn't answer him, we didn't, because it was important for Bola Shodun to get something home. Uh, so, with the rope around my waist, with uh, Bola Shodun, holding tightly to the rope with me getting a, uh, <laughs> something we got the we, we got the atiala and um, so when we got the atiala uh bola Shodun said look this is good we get home so we got home and <coughs> Beat his chest. And, and the wife believed. <laughs> and the wife believed until location arose. <laughs> and uh, the truth came, and, um, uh, and Mrs. Uh, Agibola said, ah. But my, wife, my husband said, uh, he killed the. Uh, the <laughs> and um, uh, then we said yes. Uh, he killed it by proxy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, between them, Doctor Shule, uh, uh, Bola Shodun, uh, Leto Lowu, um they were uh, uh, classmates in. In the Baptist Day School, 
Um, that's uh, the number of other things we will uh, for another day about them. But one point I want to make. Somebody came to me. I think when Dr. Shule was uh, Minister of Finance and said, I understand Dr. Shule is your friend. I said, yes, he was my friend. We've been friends. Uh, he said, and I understand you recommended him to be Minister of Finance. I said, yes, he's qualified. And he's, um, he said, you recommend your friend to be minister? Is that good enough? I said, what do you, who do you want me to recommend? My enemy? He said, no, you shouldn't recommend my, your enemy. I said, well, then I've done the right thing by recommending my friend. And he's doing very well. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. With your permission, we have Mr. Tokwe Adeyemi. Mrs. Miss Tokwe Adeyemi, Harmony Sisters, and we go to the family to fulfill this feast. All right. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, so, um, there are two men that shaped who I am today. One of them passed 20, 23 years ago. The other one, we are saying goodbye to. Um, Grandpa, um, made it important that we understood who we were, that we had pride in our heritage, and um, we, he always made sure we knew the history. Whenever people would meet me with grandpa, to just um, introduce myself with my name, he always gave a story behind it. The different ways that grandpa would introduce me. So my name, I'm Engineer Olua Tokpe Adeyemi. I'm a sister Tokpe, lawyer Adeyemi, Obama Jaovu. Great granddaughter of the Pawu of Owu, the first Olowu of Owu. Um, president, because of my um, gentle demeanor and soft exterior, but um, <laughs> I got that from my dad. But like I said, um, the pride in um, where we're from, from Abel Kuta, from Ogu State, came largely from he always made sure we were well cultured. Um, he's one of the only people, well, there are two people that I know my dad said here today. But he, um, he, we have a piano in the house. We learned how to play the piano because of him. Um, he made sure we learned the Egba and them very early and we could sing it. Um, and then uh, it usually happens when the father in a family dies. Um, your life. Um, um, Dr. Shula decided that made or created by my dad's passing, he would feel it. So there's nothing grandpa didn't do. Um, I decided engineering was not for me anymore. I called my mom. This was a few months after my dad died. And I said, I had only one year left. And I told my mom, I said, uh, mommy is still grieving was probably at a loss of what to do, and she called Dr. Shuleye. Then he was going, I cannot remember what he said to me, but I stayed. And now I am the first Nigerian female drilling supervisor. 
And it's important that I say that because a grand um, I never lost anything. It was never final. But there was no support. There was no advice. There was nothing. My sister, Felicia, was his uh, special. Unknown to my mom, grandpa paid one year of Felicia. She didn't find out until there was a balance of a year's school fee. Um, when I decided that I was going to, I started a charity um, during COVID for children, and I decided we're going to build a free school. I said, no, you're going to come and do it in Ogun State. So I came to Abelkota, and I sat with Grandpa, and we talked, and we talked, and he said, you have to do this with the government. I said, Grandpa, I don't want government while I said, no, we're going to do it with the government. Grandpa said, and then I'm sure it has been mentioned, but Grandpa never used his privilege. He always wanted you to do it the right way. He was not going to make any phone calls or anything. He said, okay, we'll do it, we'll apply. So we applied, and then the commissioner called us for a meeting, or called me for a meeting. Grandpa said, no, you're going to go, I'm going to go with you. Grandpa climbed three flights of stairs to the commissioner's office to talk to them. And um, when they gave us a site or a location to go look at, Grandpa decided he was going to follow us. He followed us to Ilaro. Um, if you know the road, you can imagine what it meant for him to go. But Grandpa followed us, and he walked through the site, and he looked at everything with us. He told me on our way back, he said, um, Tokwe, I wish we could do this before I die. I said, Grandpa, you're not going anywhere. But, you know, unfortunately, we are here. Um, so we're going to push it forward. I'm going to still keep it in Ogu State. We haven't been completed the process yet. But we'll do it, and we'll, this time it will be in the memory of Dr. Shule. So um, I also want to take this opportunity to say thank you to the show layers for being my boss, for taking all of us in, and for making sure that we never lacked anything we needed. So thank you. Thank you. That's a very nice one. We have our only sisters, but we have to moderate the list now. After the Harmony sisters, the Board of Trustees of Ubu Baptist Church, two minutes each. Then Uncle Stephen, Tamplana, Stephen Adewalu. And especially, we want to listen to General Ebenezer Uyifulu. He will read a tribute on behalf of the 34th regular course as a cosmic to our beloved brother, Lola Shule. Then our uncle, Tony, Antonio Joshino. And if time permits, on behalf of the church, Jaconet Compastorate will say one or two things. Doctor Shola ye mo sha ye lubi o igbo koko e mo sha ye lubi igbo a igbo ko o mo ti re le oru baba mo taya Doctor Shola ye mo sha ye lubi o igbo koko e mo sha ye lubi igbo koko. Igbo koko iyan ku kete ra ibe o i mo se won o o ba ni agbe yin o praise god baba soleye we the amoni sisters of ondo and ikiti state we are very very proud of baba when we met bab when we met baba that was towards the end of 70s that the harmony sisters started then we were on those states but now we have two states 
Then, anybody, anytime we come to uh, Mama Shaleye's house, Baba will like us to sing our song in Ekiti. He always loved the songs. Then, if Baba knows you now, I know you by your first name. He will be calling you that name until the last breath. I call him Babami because anywhere he sees me or any anytime I go to the house, he will say, Nike, show Tiri Momore. And I call Mama, Mami. He was so good to us. During our meetings, Baba we tell stories. He will say, In your chain, your wage, be saying the Ekiti dialect by force. Ah, anybody you see about 40 years ago is Oyao when we get together. So that's about for you. It was very, very good to us. And the children, well, they are all my brothers and sisters. They are so friendly with Ekiti and Ondo and people. If you see them, they'll be forcing themselves to greet us in that dialect. You are saying it, but you can't say it as you say your own language. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. The BOT of Baptist Church. That's a chairman, and you know them. Moki Bubuwao. Akwa Sheyeo. Moki Ayibabawa. I want to just talk about Dr. Sholeye and the roles he played in putting together a very strong church, O Baptist Church, as a chairman of the Board of Trustees. My story cannot be complete without talking about how he did what he did. Putting together the church, Dr. Shule was very firm. At some point, he got in touch with Ababa, Chief Baba Sonjo. He just called Mama Owa. Ti dame wa Mama Fili. Ti oni luade de. That we should start thinking about doing investments. Baba now told him that I want him to tell that the church has to do something that will strengthen the financial base of a Baptist church. At that time, Baba was still the president. But President Ibaye Otanongbe. So easy for Walati Malosota. And then himself. The king of Dele, the king Lori, Baba will call us to water. We will plan, strategize, build a pastorium here, put this one here. Uh, who is living in that one now? Demolish it. Do this, do this. Beside the Baptist Church today, we have a five story building, which is an investment building. And this building was, thank you, this building was put together between the four of them, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, Dr. Onola Poshule, um, Engineer Oyedele, uh, Dikin Ilori, uh, Messenger Lawa, I don't know why she's in by any, but we are, we, are, we, are, we are ready to put the structure together. Today is an investment structure that is bringing in more investment that the church is relying on, on more investments. That is his own way of doing evangelism. And he did it very sincerely. And his works are living after him. He was somebody that did not believe in corruption of any form. In fact, he hated corruption. 
at some point, I got into trouble as MD of OPIC. Ah! Some big money was supposed to be moved in Mumbai. So I cried to him. In his sitting room, he called four people. He called the central bank governor. He called the MD of the bank, Tofe Fikbe Uye. He called the president of Nigeria at that time, Minidaru called President Yensi. But we're going to guess. Oh, I'm be by Lenny. And he called and said that the incoming government and the story got me into trouble that I had to run through Kutonu to the United Kingdom. But uh, the president at that time called me and told me, I know you are running away, but go and report to the incoming administration. So that I come out of Bafai Lege Kotu Kotu Day. So I went to and I reported. But one thing that was important was that in my temporary absence in the UK, it made sure that he was cross checking my career in my absence. Just because he felt that he cannot tolerate corruption and corruption cannot stay. I was somebody who stood firm. He was a minister for finance. All the people that could testify to his life will say that he cannot tolerate corruption. That's a legacy he has left behind for us. And a way that we shall live on that and move forward. He insisted on that too in church. And I made sure that everything that we did in church was properly accounted for and well planned. We pray that is so we continue to live in eternity. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Time planners to Nadiwalu. Two minutes. Good evening, sir. I've given a time limit by my organ. But however, my testimony is divided into three. You will pardon me. No, I will make sure I stick to the time. The first one is how I am what I am today. Education-wise, advice. He was my mentor, supporter. He's ready to give me anything. Maybe that one summarizes that one. And he made sure when I went to England, he saw me regularly. Even if just you come and go back the following day, he did it. When I was going to Ajakuta, it took me to Ajakuta. It took us two days to travel from Ajakuta to Ajakuta and back. That one is like that. The career aspect, like you said, I should just summarize it. But the one that is symbolic is that there's a spiritual connection between me and him. I never knew. He would say, Steve, go to my bedroom and arrange it. After arranging it, I, wouldn't, I didn't even know. After that, I said, go to my office and do the arrangement I did. He said, then when there was a coup, I was in Lagos. He told mommy, because the ultra, we said, I'm sure whatever happened, Stephen will carry everything inside my house, the Glover Road to Ikoyi. And I didn't know which I did. And he said, you see, by the time I just opened the first briefcase, it will appear as if I am the one that sorted them out like that. He said the same thing in my library. If I was to go there and do it, when I go get there, I will arrange the book as if I was the one that arranged the book. That's the spiritual connotation. The other one is that by the time towards the later part of his uh, glorious exit, I went there. He said he was sleeping on the sofa. I said, okay, yes, Steve, God brought you. You have to take me to Madam, late Madame Lawson's uh, house to write the condolence letter, which I did. After that, I said, you have to take me to Padua Jagu of Egba land, which I did. By the time we came back, the only, something that is symbolic is that he stood inside the car, he sat inside the car for a few minutes. By the time he came down, he said, Oluwami, 
at all any. And if you read Second King five seven, I think alas, it was borrowed. What was borrowed? The breath of life that everyone has here. The moment that one is removed from you or you return it back to the owner, you are already a carcass. That one is symbolic. That one is very, very important. That was the last something. He said that one, and the following Saturday or Monday, he was taken to the hospital. And then, which he never regained, he never came back to his house. There's another one, before that one, one he saw uh, before this, this last hospital something. We took, I said, I will be the one that will carry you from the hospital home. It was on Sunday. And they stopped there. When I came back, he said, okay, you take me around. I took him around to uh, um, Agbeloba side. When we got to Old Baptist Church, it was on Sunday. He said, pause. Where is your Bible? He prayed. He said, by the grace of God, I will walk down here to come and give testimony. But however, I'm not going back home as a lame person. So he said that one. The one that is symbolic again, because it's already two minutes, one minute again, is that since he was uh, at the deposit at the mortuary, I was troubled. I always went there every week to see him. But after some times, we didn't go because of the general quality uh, barrier or something. And that Sunday, Saturday Sunday, I couldn't sleep. Then I called the tire. I said, when did we see Baba last? I said, Uncle Stevie, it was a long time ago. I said, don't worry. If you can't, this week, Monday, this, this week, I will go there. When I got there, I said, where is the pot him? I said, Baba, sorry, we have not abandoned you here. And then the tension in me went down. Whether it has meaning to you or not, I don't know. But it had meaning to me. But then the tension went down. You see, it's an epitome of love, kindness, honesty, and it's ready to stand by you all the time. May the Almighty God continue to be with the children and Mama in Jesus' name. Quickly, we want to have General Ebenezer Ifolu. He will read a tribute on behalf of the 34th regular course as a cosmet to our beloved brother. I'd like to make a brief uh, correction on what uh, Stephen just said. I'm deeply sorry. I will say when there was school, an uncle was finance minister. We were living on Bell Avenue. And that night I was reading because I was making a presentation. And I heard ba 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 ba. So I woke daddy up, Reverend J. Shule. I woke him up. I said, Daddy, what is your cool? And Uncle was not around. So in the morning, Reverend Shule and drove to Glover to pick Uncle's things up. And when he came back, when Uncle came back, they slept on the same bed for some time before Uncle went back to. Thank you. I will come on. General. Your Excellencies, former President, Chief Ulushagun Basanjo, former Governor of Ogun State, Dr. Ibukunle Amusu, the bereaved family of Dr. Nala Poshule, Your Royal Highnesses, the clergy, invited speakers, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Major General Uyifulu, retired. I'm here to read a tribute uh, to Dr. Shule on behalf of that Ford regular course, the course which our late brother, Major General Ola Shule, was part of. 
in solemn acknowledgement of the passing of our esteemed Dr. Nap Bashule on the 15th day of November 2023, as conveyed to an official family letter dated 24 January 2024. We deeply mourn the loss of a remarkable father and statesman. This sorrowful news follows closely on the heels of the demise of his dear son, our dear cosmate, Major General Lola Shule retired merely 18 months ago. May the souls of the late Dr. Shule and his dear son find eternal peace in Jesus' name. It was Robert L. Bachman who said, and I quote, Father is the noblest title a man can be given. It is more than a biological name or a biological role. It signifies a patriarch, leader, role model, exemplar, confidant, teacher, hero, and a friend." Unquote. Late Dr. Shule embodied all these qualities to all of us who knew him. Most of our colleagues got to know Dr. Shule when he was appointed Minister for Finance in 1983. As cadets in the Nigerian Defense Academy, we were excited to be associated with, with Lola Shule, having realized that he was the son of a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Despite being the son of a prominent figure, Lola chose humility and frugal lifestyle, distancing himself from his father's position Lola's hard work and humility, even as an officer, revealed the quality of his upbringing and remains the hallmark of the Shule family to this date. Dr. Onakpo Shule took on the role of an adopted father for many of our colleagues, including myself, facilitated by Lola Shule in ensuring that most of us visited the Shule family house in Abeokuta, Owu, for, to be precise, during our uh, NDA Defense, National Nigerian Defense Academy holidays. It was during these visits that we got to know the great actor and the actress, as the children used to call them. Let me day. Bimbo, Lucky, and Tyro. We got to know all of them very closely. The Shulay family house became our colleagues, that of our colleagues, wholeheartedly, and we frequented the place. We opted to spend most of our NDA holidays, break, holiday breaks, at the Shulay family house. It was at Shulay family house that I learned to eat a lot of bush meat which Mama always order for us from Ibaraoki. <laughs> Many times we never spent a single day in our own family homes. My parents were living in Lagos, but after getting to Lagos, maybe two days after, I'm off to Abelkuta to go and live in the Jolie family house. Many times, I don't know whether President Obama should will remember. At the boys' quarters, we will sit down and we will eat together. He will eat with us, he will mentor us, he will tell us so many things about the military, telling us about traditions and ethics of the Nigerian army. We will even dish our hands in the same place with Baba Zonjo. It was a very good experience that I will never forget. This enduring warmth, accommodation, and hospitality from the late Dr. Shule and his family persists to this day. Most importantly, Dr. Shule, as Minister of Finance, served the fatherland credibly, credibly and undoubtedly remains one of the beacons of transparency and accountability in governance. It is impossible 
to overstate that our beloved adopted father, late Dr. Onalakpon Ulushegun Shole, will be greatly missed. However, we find solace in knowing that he is peacefully rested with the Lord at the venerable age of 90. On behalf of the entire Tat 4 regular course alumni association and our dear families, I extend our deep condolence to the immediate family, especially Mama, the actress, as she, <laughs> she mourns the loss of her beloved husband, a distinguished statesman and a father figure to many. Our prayer is for the Almighty God to forgive his departed soul, embrace him in his bosom, and grant him eternal rest. Additionally, we beseech God to bestow upon the entire Ashley family of Oulan, Abel Kutaragun State, the strength to bear the irreparable loss of an illustrious son and patriot. In Jesus' name. Adios, Dr. Olakwa Shulay. Thank you. When our Baba was a state commissioner, we also had our Baba Aki Delano as Commissioner for Justice. And Baba is here to say one or two things. Can we have a Baba Delano? Okay. Your Excellency, Papa Yabola Man Queen, Lady Governor. Mukima. Oni mo na ti soro nitori pe bi ore eni ki se bi atoni general abi commissioner ore gidi ni ona olopo sule yeje ni o to pe lodo olopo o doctor la man pe doctor ali common friend kon ti je pe doctor don pe and the doctor, doctor, you are really only a little corny, a lot to do, a lot to do, but a quarter. But one tea, but bad, the world you saw, no, you boy, beg on, no, she did. Oh, boy, you keep going, you're more, I tea, oh, more, more, to know you, my do. Christian, Christian Giddy, take a Christian of Enuje. Only any con laying me to Momma Bush or do see a way. You will be in me, Luju. You know, but going to more money by you. Could you will be in me, Luju? You are mainly only on the sonic by a new bay, a new Nigeria. Colon be suffering. One light is so lay in a pataki. You bet you by me cool in nineteen seventy nine. At home, at your papa, your boy. What brought him? Bob, bob, bob. Eh, oh, no, what do you to my jay? When Timo need the banyan, no, ni le, no, ni coco. Oh, my cobble bow, I need you mean, but not my dissy. Oh, no, say we could do. Oh, no, hiya, to my dissy. At a wing of me, at a little jummy. On va dire que les gens qui ont été en train de se faire, ils ont 
Thank you, sir. One minute for engineer Tony Ojeshino. Mokinza, Excellency, I greet you. Uncle Doja, Mokinza, I want to speak about my mentor because I had a special relationship with him. When we were in secondary school, it was my mentor and uncle. When we were in secondary school, uncle would come to our house when we were studying. Baba, it was our he will look at what we were studying. And he will start complaining about my, my two brothers because they didn't do science. They didn't like engineering, science, mathematics. So one day, for Christmas, uncle came to our house and he said he has a gift for all three of us. My mother was sitting there Uncle had a pack of a cigarette called 555. He had a pack of uh, Guinness, Guinness Stout. At that time, I was not to Guinness Stout. And he said, Larry, my older brother, and my twin brother, he said, these two are for you. Then he gave me a card. He said, that is the library card for University of Ibadan Library. Of course, I felt bad. I said I would have preferred money over the card. But he said to us, he said, I encourage my nephews in the areas that they have chosen. For those that choose to drink, I've encouraged them. For those that choose to smoke, I've encouraged them. But for you that like to study, I'm encouraging you. So when we finished and I left HSE, Uncle came and said, I want you to come and work for me in UI as a research assistant. So I was happy. It's my uncle. So I easy. I went to work. We got up the same time in the morning. He would meet me in the office. So one day, and he, everything he used to indoctrinate me. No shortcuts. I said this yesterday. No long legs. Always wait for your turn in everything that you do. Wait until it is your turn. So one day we went to the bank, him and I, in Agodi, to collect money. He wanted to cash a check. And the queue was very long. And when we got out of the car, he had this Volkswagen. When we got out of the car, he said we should go and queue behind the long it was very sunny, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And we were there, queuing. And I said, Uncle, he said, no. We stand. Then somebody in the bank saw him and sent a young lady to say, that is Dr. Shula Yedia. Go and call him. I saw that that person is being directed. So I was already happy. When the lady came, Uncle I know shemi. So we stayed there until it was our turn. Of course, by that time, I had gotten used to the song, and I actually felt better after we got inside. But from that day on, I said to myself, every time it's Friday, I said, Uncle, she and Lossi Bank Loni, they came in law. So when I was going to the bank, he would say, oh, Yeah, he would give me a check. By the time I get to the door, I say, 
Tosibi tu yaku tosini o. Mani muti bossa. He taught me a lesson in being self-content and waiting until it is your turn to do things. When I became a commissioner, the last one, <laughs> some of my uh, colleagues at the ministry, the new ministry, they went to see him to get him to advise me. He didn't tell me this until after I left office. They told him that you've been commissioner, sir, you've been minister. Talk to your nephew. It is called live and let live. And he's not letting live. And he listened to them. And when they finished talking, he said to them, I would have been very disappointed if you had come to tell me something else about him. So one day, a year later, I came back from America. I had a program called Otmo, where we were doing vehicles. And some other ministry are taking over that program. And they stopped Uncle's car. And they took money from him without a receipt. And he thought it was my ministry doing it. So he was waiting for me to come. As soon as I came to Nigeria, he called me, come and see me. I went to see money, what you say, Jali. Money, Uncle Mio Jali, Nibo, Money, walk by fifteen thousand or me, walk by lower or me. She be all who she ought more. Money bends that walk by lower or me. You go on the foreign receipt. Mobile Uncle, a Miko. Another ministry had taken over that responsibility because I was gone for one month and doing it. And I, he said, Are you sure? He said, Yeah. He just got up and went to see the governor and told the governor, Angelo. Maybe. And he gave him the receipt. And of course, they took care of everything. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, you are welcome. Thank you. We want to recognize the presence of His Excellency. You are welcome, sir. On behalf of BBHS Old Boys Association, Your Excellency, Chief of Leadership Ambassador, Your Excellency, President Wabiadu, Your Excellency, Senator Ibikule Amuso. So many hearts, so many titles, so many names we have learned to call you. Father, grandfather, statesman, community leader, church leader. But the one that I'm proud to say is that he was a distinguished old boy of the Baptist Boys High School, Abel Okuta, Ogun State. He was a epistle. General Lushia Gumabasan joined the forward to a history book, wrote about how the BBHS shaped their lives. That what they taught in the Baptist Boys High School was knowledge plus humility plus integrity plus everything that we have seen showcased by the life of Dr. Shule. That is why I'm proud to say here that for all of that, we, in 1985, 2009, and last year during our centennial anniversary, we gave him merit award. It was a distinguished old boy in 2009, and our school celebrated its 100 years last year. It was one of those 
that we picked as our distinguished centennials, that in the past 100 years, let us take 100 boys or 100 old students. Of course, that is why, and our Old Boys Association is one of the strongest and one of the most vibrant in Nigeria, which I need not say. It is a testimony to its founding in the heartland of Ubu. And it is no accident of history that the history of Baptist Boys High School Abeokuta is intertwined with that of Ubu as it produced eminent Nigerians. That is why I stand there proudly to say to the Almighty God that we thank you for letting me pass to our corner of the world as I also say to the children, take heart for it was a man that was our pistol that all of us have modeled our lives about. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. While we are pursuing this course, the first citizen of our noble state joined us. May I request we take this time to recognize his presence, His Excellency, Prince Dapo Abiodun. Shall we rise as we give him a round of applause, please? The Secretary to the State Government, Honorable Tokumo Talabi, also came with him. You are welcome, sirs. Shall we have a seat, please? We we'll take this time to listen to our former governor, former senator, our beloved one. As we call on Ali Haji, Iskiru, Amosu, Ibikule Amosu, MC. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I will still come to things that I want to talk about. Let me start with our Baba, uh, Baba Olusheg Mwabasanjo, the governor, Mama, and sisters, Mokinyo, Baba Ati, Mama Diwalu, Mokinyo Ati, all our elders that are here, there are many of them expectedly, uh, Mokibugunyo, uh, and to Ileni Awai, Mokibugwenyi, Baba The congregation friends, Moriere uh, Thank you, sir. Well, a lot of our late Baba, Baba Onola Because the rank of those our elders in uh, in Ebaland in Owu. Uh, and probably even in local state, but let me restrict myself to where we are here. One by they are passing the baton in a way to us. And we pray that the few that are still with us, the Almighty God will still uh, give them more healthy life. Baba uh, you say, Baba this I hope I got it right, and some of them that are still with us, we pray that the good Lord will continue to uh, strengthen you so that you will live. Just talk briefly about uh, Dr. Nola uh, Maybe just two or three things so that I will show to reference the kind of person that he is. Of course, it's no doubt that everybody agreed that it's, it's a given when you mention his name. You remember he sang with uh, 
uh, President Buhari. The last one he called me to say he wants to talk to uh, mommy when he passed on. Of course, that's what he said. He said a very straight man, a very, he was just using those adjectives. And I said, that is the stuff that we are, we are made of uh, from this part of the world. Things. I do not know who took that decision. Maybe Baba himself took the decision that he must be buried at the family house there. Maybe it was his decision, maybe your decision, but whoever took that decision, it was a terrific decision. God bless all of you. Now, something happened. I've never talked about it with anybody, not even with my wife or anybody. No. It's something that I've just felt that maybe when I'm writing my, my autobiography, I'll put it there. Growing up, there are very few that we all look up to, and it's one of them. Something happened, I think it was in 1979. It's him, God bless him. If it is you, God bless you too. There are something that runs. It's like in all of them. Baba Adewole is a very good example. That's why I said I've never mentioned it to anybody. Something happened in 1979. It's about that same place. I'm happy that you did that for him. You know the way they are. I don't know, I asked them, I asked my dad, what is it about land? What are you fighting for this land? He said, ah, genre abori getting bad down. We ibite file aduroti. That joji oligba. Joti mo be rekwe, e wan kot for 30 years, ino ele biwasi. You are still there. Uh, my brother that came here, what's his name? He just came, Ojeshi, no. You know, if I tell you, and I ask them, say, you are all families. Why are you in court? And something happened. I was just in, we just, we just got enrolled into the polytechnic. And I came, we are building something for my mom. And daddy came. He said, we should stop the thing is in court. And I just said, why? And I said, sir, ah, you are the one that we are looking up to. Anyway, it didn't end. the thing just ended somehow, we left. So after so many years, he saw me, he said, oh my God. I said, oh my God, he said, no, it's not like that. Oh. So I greeted him, and I became governor. Then we started what we were doing. His house was to be demolished. I didn't even know. Then I said, he just beat. I said, okay, I'll go and meet him. So when I got there, I said, ah, what do you want to go? You can only go to the house. You can't 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 go to the I went. He now took me. He said he had some kind of library there. A lot of things he was showing me. In fact, that was the first day that I knew that he served as a commissioner for industry. All the while, I knew him for works and the finance. So ah, he now showed me so many things. He said, Timba, Timba, Bang, Omo, Bang, Shema, Rora, Tobita, Omo, To, Wei, Si, To, Wei, Si, To, Wei, Si. But lo and behold, when I started what I'm doing, he came to me. And I'm happy that Baba is here, Baba Dewalu is here. One of them has left now, and that's Baba, uh, Prince Bola Jibola. They wrote me a beautiful letter. And I tell my kids that, please, keep that letter. Any day, read it when I'm gone. They said, when I started what I'm doing, they doubted that I'm going to do anything. And they were not happy about it. But when they saw what I did eventually, they wrote a wonderful letter to me. Thanking me, saying that he told me that he never imagined that in his lifetime, he will witness what has happened. And he prayed, and I said, thank you, sir. So that tells you that underneath all of those things that we are talking about, he wanted progress. He wanted even my own progress, even though we were not like that together. And that is something that at least we should all emulate. The second one that I want to talk about, he called me. He said, after this and that, I said, I go lembo. And when he told me what he wanted, I was like, what is this? You know what? He said he wanted me to send some people to watch. And I said, this is another lesson. There is somebody from a very strong Christian home. He has never asked me for anything. That's what he asked me for. Of me. So, and I said, ah, I said, Mutibosa, 
I left. When I got back, I called the people handling it because it's closed. And I said, come on, I don't know how you want to do it. We must sort this thing out. He said, can I do a little money? That compelling that I must do this thing. That the person that asked me is somebody that from the beginning, they are known to, to be from a very strong Christian home. And that I must do it. And I did it. And you know what he did? I don't know, maybe the jalami and everything that they bought for him. <laughs> when they all came back, he carried the thing. He said, he want to see me again. And he brought them for me. I said, no. They've given me my own. I have many people that went. This is, this, these are for you. So you could see. Those are those attributes that, of course, is worth emulating. We pray that the good Lord will grant him eternal rest. And please, don't leave home home. Don't leave home. Don't leave home. Baba has demonstrated that for us. I, will, I told you that I'm going to, till I breathe my last, Abiyo Kuta will be my home. If this, our place will be my home. God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Shall we take this time to listen to His Excellency? Our very own Prince Dapo Abiodu. Your Excellency, our Baba, former President of Nigeria, <clears throat> um, Baba Lushegu Kikolu, a passenger. His Excellency, my predecessor, former Governor of Ogun State, Senator Epikule Amosu. <clears throat> Our uh, mama, the matriarch of the Shule family, Chief Mrs. Mutupe Shule, children of Baba, all other family members, Shule family members, Baba Diwolu and Mama, all other distinguished and eminent guests that are here. I think my SSG is here somewhere, and uh, my chief of staff, and other members of government. This evening, we are here celebrating a truly illustrious son of Ogun State. A truly illustrious son of Ogun State. My predecessor has said so much about him. And um, traced him back to his Owu roots. But Baba Shuleye is a Nigerian, a foremost Nigerian. And um, you will be unjust not to recognize him as such. It's like seeing Baba Basanjo only as an Owu son. Baba Basanjo is a world citizen. He is a man who was an associate professor at the University of Ibadan. And subsequently, was appointed as a commissioner, a commissioner of the old Western region. The Western region at that time was probably the size of about maybe 10 African countries put together. So he would easily have been like uh, a prime minister of one of the African countries. 
at the very least. Before Baba was appointed as a Federal Minister of Finance. For those that may not appreciate it, in other countries, that is like the Prime Minister of a country. It's called the Council of Exchequer because it's probably one of the most important portfolios. Baba, when he was the minister, for those of us that remember, he fought the evaluation of the Naira. He resisted it because Baba was an extremely principled and knowledgeable man. Very principled. Very upright. He was an epitome of integrity. You know, these are the kind of things that, you know, we must learn from the generations before. If XYZ person could have made it quick, if he became rich by unjustly corrupting himself, why must I now make money the old-fashioned way? That's on one part. On the other part, those who are truly genuine, who are committed, they are demotivated. They either leave that society and go elsewhere. But the likes of Baba, we are very upright. We are people of integrity. You can't say because he was Minister of Finance, he has won a skyscraper somewhere or some palatial house uh, in London or uh, in Ikuyi that you can trace to the proceeds from when he was Finance Minister. Once as that, Baba was very devoted to his beautiful wife. Baba just reminded me that um, I'm sure that that's not true. She doesn't look like a village woman from any Oko in Ekiti. Aiboma. Shake it, not a woman. Baba was a doting husband, loving father to his children. Baba, without a doubt, has left his footprint in the sand of time through his legacies. Um, our, both religion teach us that, you know, at times like this, the kind of things that must be said of us is the life of impact that we lived. You know, the last two weeks have been very cloudy in this nation. Um, many of us were in Lagos yesterday at a service of tribute for a friend of ours and his family that died in a helicopter crash. This has been ongoing for the past two weeks because they were about... Um, Six of them that died in a helicopter crash, four out of which are Nigerians that are very close to us, um, close to Baba, close to my priestess, so a lot of us. And of course, we've been tempted to ask God, God, where were you? Your children. You know, children who believed in you. What happened? When things like this happen, we always we always tempted to ask God. One of our sons, Omoyi Tunche Dada, head of household, to one Balu, Yahweh, Omoyi, Atiore, Ah, Lojokono. 
Uchowaluju. But you know, our God remains God. All the time. He knows the beginning from the end. What we look at and think that God took someone in their prime. For God. God does not know the difference between your prime and when you are born. For him, it is pre-written. This is when you will be born. This is when you shall depart. And they say, at times, God decides, let me take this person home because he's done so well. Before something else begins to happen, to tarnish his good deeds, let me call him home. We can ask all the questions in the world, but God is not obligated to answer us. One thing that is sure that will live after all of us is the life of impact or otherwise that we've lived. But if you did well, they also say that man was a good man. Those are things that termites cannot eat. You know, we should all endeavor to live a life of impact which will be our legacies like Baba has lived a life of impact. They will see his children. They will say, ah, you are Baba Shule's son. Ah, your father was a good man. Your father was a good man. What do you want me to do for you? So today, as we celebrate Baba, let us all reflect on our lives. What shall be said of us when our appointed time is nigh? What kind of life have we lived? And it is only the living that has the opportunity to make impact. Once that time is up, it's done. Baba Shule has definitely left massive footprints in the sand of time. On behalf of my family, myself, the loving, good people, and proud people of Baba's home state, Ogun State, we pray that the Almighty God will forgive Baba's sins and accept the repose of his soul. We pray that the Almighty God will look after the family that is left behind and comfort them and be with them. The Almighty God will be Mama's husband, will become Mama's partner, become Mama's companion, become Mama's friend. And the Almighty God will be the father of Baba's children and Baba's grandchildren. Or do I genus your own? Or my share of our own? Baba, I know my share of any known that has go back to a Nisiko Konua Baba. Baba, and so, eh, Shami. May the Lord keep and protect all of us. Thank you very much for listening to me. Mio, so, Mio, T day, departure lounge, you know, your gentleman. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. At this point in time, we will be singing few of the favorite hymns, Love Our Beloved Father. We will be singing three songs from, um, they will be projected on the screen for everyone to see and to please sing along. And also we will be presented with uh, a copy of a uh, red book, courtesy of Christian Sings Foundation for Church Music. Uh, the first song we will be taking this evening is Hallelujah, sing to Jesus. The second one is...
All in the power of Jesus' name. And the last one, the Lord's my shepherd. So while we sing, earlier us sing to Jesus. I'll kindly implore, so please rise as we take the first song and the second song standing up. For as many people are able to please rise, let's rise and sing. Hallelujah. Sing to Jesus. the Lord. For as many people that can't see the screen, uh, the, the screen uh, I don't know where this song is in the red book. You can Google that. But all you lie to the glory of the Lord. If you know the tune, this is the best we can do at this point in time. Please bear with us. Stanza 2.
Okay, the second aim, all A, the power of Jesus' name, you will find in the red book with you, SS&S 203. Once again, apologies for those who are unable to see the screen. But for as many who have the red, red hymn now, you will find the next theme, all A, the power of Jesus' name. As usual, we'll be singing this song using three tunes. And unlike the first song that it was more of the choir, please, it's a night of hymns. It is congregational. I want everyone to sing. Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. SS&S 203. 
Thank you all for good singing. May we all sit for this third hymn. Earlier I said we're singing three songs, but I was made to realize uh, His Excellency, President Lushegun has requested we take one more hymn, Amazing Grace, the Baba loves Amazing Grace as well. So after this third hymn, the Lord's my shepherd I shall not want. We will sing it reverently. We will take Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound. I mean, uh, the Lord's my shepherd, I shall not want SS and S5. S and S5. Please search for it in S and S. Okay, SS and S 562. Five six two. takes the second stanza. Amazing Grace. Request that the people in the front row, everyone in the front row, including the 
former governor. Tanza, amazing grace. Tanza, you should know it by, by heart. So, can we rise? It's Baba's one. Grace out to the sun. Many as can stand, please rise. Ubunye today. So can we all rise to join them as we take the last stanza of this amazing grace? Last stanza, 894. Have your seats. The Lord bless you, ring good.
Hallelujah. It's not an easy road.
Thank you, Lord, for everything. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for everything. We thank you this wonderful day. A day of thanksgiving. We thank you for the life of our Baba and testimonies we have heard. Lord, we say thank you for the presence of all our elders in the house. We thank you for the body of Christ. And we thank you for all the messages received. Lord, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This minute, Lord, speak to our hearts. Thank you, the Almighty. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Aki Babawa. Uluye Ulushegun Obasanjo GCFR PhD. Baba Aku Aferakusa. Aki Gumenawa. Baba Omoba Dakwa Abiodun. A dupe fun. We wa lane wa ti e wa lane wa. Agbadura we pe. Igba yin yotun bo tu wa lara. Uluwa yo ma funyi she. Ore o fe o tun. Uluwa yo yonda funyi. Aki baba wa. Senator Ibekunle Amosun. CON FCA. In 2015. I was privileged to visit the Holy Land through you. You sponsored me to the Holy Land. And when they said the sponsorship came through you, the same question you ask when Baba called you that you would like that you send some people or sponsor some people to Mecca, is the same question I asked that. But they said this person is a Muslim. How come? Ti won fi ni lati ma ran awon iranse Olorun lo si we thank God for your life. Thank you very much sir. We appreciate you. And since then because igba yen mo sese de lo ni eh in 2014 uh, 2014 so and you sponsor me to uh, Israel in 2015. So me ti mo so many things ti mo mo nsin. So mo ti di omo baba nsin pata pata Praise the Lord. Moti di owu. Eh eh. Eh ti o ba je po ro mi Olorun lati so awon nkan ti mo fe so laarin seju die lede abinibiwa. O kan lara awon na lati buola fun Olorun ninu aye baba wa pa ona lapo suleye. Ohun na ni lati tun bo ranrawa lowo pe ani asha ati ise to dara. Mo le so pe pelu gbogbo nkan ta won eyan ti so mo ti se akosile nkan bi oju ewe meta just three pages lati ba wa so lede oyinbo mo wa ri nkan kan ti won ti menu ba iwo so baba adire ni most of the time awon adire to niye lori to je oju lowo so adupe lowo olorun fun igbe aye won the library our distinguished senator talk about ili ogbon ni baba pe ili ogbon na pe library yen won memi na lo sibe nibi ton pada move si so adupe lowo olorun fun igbe aye won tori na te ba gba mi laye lati so nkan die yi ki ma ba ma se awe tun wi laarin seju die ma fi lu a si akoko yi wakati die seyin Owo na ni kabi wa oba Professor Saka Matemilola di Oluyalo first and Otileta seventh. He was decorated as a fellow at the oldest higher institution in Ogun State just a couple of hours ago. 
I was there. I witnessed the, the program. Now, one of the uh, overall best to be our daughter, a member of the church. And so they came yesterday and they mentioned So I was there for that one, and before we know it, they brought our KBAC to be decorated as a our daughter, overall best student of the year 2018-2019 set. So we thank God for her life. We celebrate all the owls in the house. Jesus, any babato ma darasi, any babati dara, o ma darasi, i baje kan o ni wo. Nkan die die die, ninu awon kan ti mo ti ko sile ni bi bayi. Mo ki esi baba bi a great man of God. Ofun mi ni iwe kan ka to wu mi lori pupo mo lati wa copy temi lo to ran ya mi ni eleyi tan fun mi yen ni so bo ti a gbo nipa won pupo so won wa so nipa meta ninu won ti mo bi omo le adula wo lati ko nipa won akin igbagbo baba wa pa dr olusegun ona lapo sole e He didn't eat him if he was away pay. Uri or rot him if he saw a little lady name our father in heaven. And he told us in never bare to un jilo bala ro. Nino a ye ye. To wan ka baba wa timbe lo. So when he told us to submit he baba re song. Be it he a wan ala kwa. ati won ojo ko legbe mama regi e ti le ka baba wa ti nbe lorun e di juba yin sin to so ti aye ba gba wa ni mi ba ni e kan sin but e je ko wa lo kan wa pe mo so wi pe o ti wa dara jo fun yin bayi baba wa ti nbe ni orun pain our last respect is a sacred moment a vinyl opportunity to honor and bid farewell to our revered church leader, church father. As we approach this solemn task, let us do so with reference and gratitude for the life that was lived. A life characterized by one simplicity, Two, sensitivity. Three, sense of humor. Four, selflessness. Five, support. Six, sincerity. And number seven, straightforwardness. All these together, we can summarize what people have been saying about Baba. Baba's life was characterized by uncomplicated lifestyle an absence of unnecessary complexity and elaboration. He wouldn't like it to be mentioned. He would just do it quietly. He supported me financially and mama for my PhD program and he didn't stop there. He will sat me down and begin to tutor me. Put this one first, put this one last, this one. We choose the topic together. I took it to Baba Basanjo, Baba Basanjo, so we are. We tell Basha, he did out on Shishel. E pada wa, mi te e pada law, because mo ti to change ji topi ki le e me ji, le yin ba yin, mo shi mbo sa, praise the Lord. A life characterized with sensitivity, Baba will always be 
responsive to the emotion and feelings of others with empathy, understanding, and compassion towards the emotion expressed by others. When you go to him, let me talk about his sense of humor. Baba's ability to perceive and appreciate what is comical in various situations was sufficient. His ability to find joy and amusement in everyday life, even during challenging and stressful times. I remember his colorfulness. There is nothing to worry about. So whenever you call him, the thing that will be coming to your ear is there is nothing to do what to worry about around 2014 2015 when i newly came so we thank god for his life of selflessness his life of support he supported many of us pastor mentioned it yesterday he will give his gift quietly he don't want it to be mentioned with a note at the back of that uh, envelope he will just write note at the back of it that he was doing this for this so, 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 so reason. We thank God for his life. When they want to support me, one of mama, one of them, I want to be from you. Ah, I just want to buy you, I want to be from you. Mama, I want to be the detail, I want to be carefree. So, I want to be the lady that I love, the part of from you, I want to buy me. I want to be my church. So, I want to let you buy the land in me. I was so, so, so much uh, down. Kiniru Oka Tony Lati Shibai. So, Mama, Momori Lini, Eshegani, thank you, God bless you. Elkma Wakbe Nino Rolono T. Atika, First Thessalonians chapter number four, verses thirteen and fourteen. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who are asleep in death. So that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who are falling asleep in him. Two things there. And I will hand this uh, microphone over to those that will take it. I have numbers of things here that I've written just to exegete and uh, look at the passage. But these two things, very key. Those that live in Christ will be those that will sleep in Christ. Praise the Lord. I want to back be in Jesus. I want to know you soon in Jesus. So, be back back soon in Jesus. Ni tori pe won ti lanfan lati gbe ninu Oluwa ni. Ohun ti Jesu Kristi Oluwa de so ni pe ta ba n gbe ninu awon. Ta won gbe ninu wa. Awa o so eso opolopo. So gbogbo nkan to sele ninu aye baba. Ami pe won gbe ninu Olorun. Olorun de n gbe ninu won. Ohun lo je ki eso ise rere won ko po. To be ge to je pe lana lagbole. Ah, uh, Ola Baradie, Bugbe in your lofe sorrow. Loni ye, I don't teach up or lock by your toss up by our F. Melaye. I walk on one from Bill Go or do I be a goji? One hour of a sorrow. Bob, be much in the Tiba Bans of Wakbe, you little low, so I'm Latin Bonner. So Tiba Babanica phone, I walk on one lie in the noise in Lola. I she bear. Nobody yellow in a catolo. I she bear. Ki wan le sok bolo nkan, tabi meji wan. Le kan si, mo ki mama kori re, mo ki awa wman, mo ki baba, mo ki gogo yi jol lor an, mo ki ilu o wu, mo ki ipin le ogon, mo ki ori le de Nigeria akbe ako ori re. Foun iru e ni ti baba je, ibo koni wan jase fon wa, tori nan a joyo, o wan la anshe. Nek ba ta ba ton pa de lor la, o lor an ti fi orore. Otifina Baba Mene no Lua Reverend Doctor A. A. Adewale Mugbagboni no Olono We yo lo wafon wa Le kansi Akie ne kokan wa Akwe yi 
ati sun ene kokan wa yo dara o thank you praise the lord as we continue the service why the church will remain seated choir will stand as we take him 535 and sorry le so on page 16 page 16 we are taking stanza one two and the last We are coming very close to the close of this program. Uh, it has been mentioned to me now that our governor, Prince Dr. Dr. Abiodu MFR, CEO head, we want to share with you, Manchester. We want to now see our Tadariye to Yati John Loro. We appreciate you, sir. May the Lord continue to bless you. Thank you very much. Your message was received with thanks. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Baba Wati won my badura pataki fun yi dile. Won shoju are a joy kmilewa. Reverend Doctor Oye Wale Oye ni yi. Won wa ni o yo lowo lowo. Fun yi pade pataki kan ti a joy laran won. So won ti yon moderator association wawa. Reverend Dr. DSO Tinoye Tigbadura Pataki Belui Dile. Let's celebrate him as he rise and bless the family. Thank you, sir. Ejeki Agbadura Nibati Awama Ati Dile Sole Lakpa Boti Mwa Ne Dide Duro. Mama Enye Joko Neti Ejeki Agbadura. Olorun adupe fun ori ofe eyi ti e fi fun baba wa ona olapo olusegun suleye lati gbe igbe aye to ni apere igbe aye to si tele adupe fun ori ofe yi adupe fun eto ise pataki ti an si leni nitori ti won oluwa gba ope wa adupe ni toru pe lati gba ti won ti ni isi po pada kuro ninu aye yi wa si odo eyan olorun en di idilemu ati mama wa awon omo idile sole ye lapapa ti ijo olorun ile wu lapapo adupe toru pe n gbero oluwa gba ope wa oluwa fi mama wa le yin lowo ti won je aya fun baba wa oluwa ba di won mama wa oju yin o ni ribi 
alaafia ati ilera tukpe ye urayo fi tayo lore i unwa toku te olo lori li ala ye ilera tukpe ye leo fi lo lori oma eo ni soku ino omo ni joni owe na yo ni ranyi odwa yo ni ikbi a wama na lo abolon yo da jolori yo akba ala dura fwa a wama olu a yo ma to isisi yo Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 Oni ni gba ti wo ba nla omi koja imi o pelu re ati laarin odo won ki yo bo omole nigba ti wo ba nla ina koja ina oni ju obe ni owe nu ni ran o fun idile ba pa ju la won omo oluayu ma to won oluayo da abore bo won iwa la yo olorun yo di won mu ori ofe lati ma gbe ninu christi ati lati ma gba itone re oluwa yo fi fun won i say chapter 58 verse 11 oni oluwa yo ma to ni igba gbogbo yo si te okan re lorun ni bi gbogbe yo si mu egogun re sanra iwo si dabi ogba ti abomirin ati bi so mi ti omi re kitan fun eyan mo ati idile sole yi lapapo eleyi yo je ipe yin ni igba gbogbo oluwa yo ma to yin Yo pe o kan yi lorun ni bi gbigbe yo mu egogo yin sara eyin o da bi ogba ti abomirin ati bi isun ti omi re kitan ewu ayo ni wi o ibi ayo ni ba yin o owu lapapo alaafia lorun yo ma joba owo olorun yo dara si yin iwa la yo lorun yo di yin mu eto isin yi titi a o fi pare oluwa yo gba ogogo ni titi ola oluwa yo yin are logo eri ayo yo de je ti wa nje nigbati enikan kan wa yo pari irin ajo wa laye yi bi baba wa ti pari audio do christi sini ta ba ri enikan ti o ti ni igba lo kan ni tori ipejopo to ni oluwa da okan re la ki iye lo pe ko je ire wa ni oruko jesu christi olugbala wa ah e je ki agbadura afegbadura fun ipinle ogun olorun gba ope wa agbadura fun gomina wa ati gbogbo awon to ba won isepo iwa la yo olorun yo gbe yoro ipinle ogun yo ma sere yo ma tayo ipinle yi ti ni oruko rere ko ni du baje labe idari gomina wa loruko jesus owo olorun yo dara si wa iluri bo ti ri economically agba ladura oluwa yo tu wa lara gomina wa oluwa yo ma to yin oluwa yo ma dari yin nigbati en gbero oluwa yo ma dara po mo yin bi e ti nwa itura fun ipinle ogo ti e de nla kaka lati je ki ipinle yi ko ni itura eyin na ara oni ni yin owo olorun yo dara si yin gbogbo awon to de n ba yin se po loruko jesus oluwa yo ma to yin po wallahi olorun yo be yero le kan si ipinle ogun gba alaafia ma tesi waju ma serere e ti buku awon eran si olorun oluwa yo bo merin yin ni oruko jesus christi olugbala wa ah hallelujah uh, once again, good evening to everyone of us. And you are all welcome to this program, the celebration of life for Ali Baba and Dr. Onolapo Shuleye. I will greet our mama and the children. And we also extend our greeting to the Shuleye's family and the Olaleye's family. And at the one of family. And uh, I want to say that we are all important here, but permit me to recognize the following. I want to recognize our Baba, Shivoli Shagun Basanjo, the former president of Nigeria. We also recognize. Prince Dapo Abiodun, CON, the Governor of Ogun State, and all the state delegates that are here. Also, want to recognize Senator Ebikule Amosun, 
FCA COA, the former governor of Ogun State. We recognize our Baba and Mama uh, Adewalu. You are welcome, sir. And we also recognize our Baba and Mama Dikin Engineer Oyedele and Mama Oyedele. You are welcome, sir, and ma. We recognize as well the Old Boys Association of Baptist Boys High School here yeah, present and also the members 34 regular course alumni and association of the Nigerian Defense Academy. We appreciate your coming and also we want to appreciate the officiating ministers and the, the choir. Uh, we have uh, Reverend Joseph Adesokbe here, the church pastor of Ubu Baptist Church. And we also have uh, Reverend Francis Mokoro, the youth and outreach pastor of Ubu Baptist Church. And also we have the representative of the conference president, Reverend Dr. DSO Tinoye. You are welcome, sir. And also we have the former uh, pastor of the church, of Old Baptist Church, Reverend Dr. A. A. Adewale, and Mama Adewale. You are welcome, sir. And we also recognize our Baba that are here. We welcome, we welcome you, we appreciate you. And all our deacons and deaconesses that are here, uh, we appreciate the choir of Old Baptist Church and the invited choir as well. You are most welcome. Tomorrow, by God's grace, the funeral service will be in our church, Old Baptist Church, Totoro Abekuta, and the program will start by 10 in the morning. Uh, we also want to kindly urge us that the program that we have used for this program tonight, let's endeavor to hand it over to the ushers. Okay. Hello. We also have uh, the Olo who represented here led by the Oshukori of Owo Kingdom, Chief Adeoye. You are most welcome. Uh, the program is live on All Nations for Christ Baptist Church Television, the Apple Television, Roku Television, iSense Television, Fire Television, Facebook, YouTube, and on Zeno FM, Radio.net, Turner Radio, and also on our website, the website of Crystal Gene uh, Organization, sponsored by Reverend Peter O. Ademarshan from London. So the program is on live. And we'll also be the one that I'll be taking tomorrow also be live, here live, on all these uh, channels that we have mentioned about. As we have said, the funeral service will be in our church tomorrow by 10 a.m. Thank you. God bless you. Foot of times. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, good evening once more, um, family and friends. Um, Babas and mamas here, uh, let me refer to them as patriarchs and the matriarchs in the home, all our friends from far and near. I'll, I'll make this short and, and simple. We just want to say a big thank you, um, particularly for taking time out um, this has been a weekday, 
and there's another day tomorrow. I've taken, the, taken time um, from work. A big thank you for your presence, for your presence, um, for the love you've shown, of, shown us, um, for the blessings you've bestowed upon us, for the hand stretched out to us, um, for the blessing from the state government. Thank you, Prince Dapo. From every one of you, um, those that have come from the United States, those from Canada, those from the United Kingdom, those from right across the country, um, we can't say thank you enough. But our hearts say we do love you and we do appreciate you for, let me call it, the unquantifiable support that you have bestowed upon us in getting this through. We have not done this by ourselves. There was a team who been laboring every day for the last, if I literally since Baba passed, and they have been laboring every day. And it looks like literally some of us just walked into, um, into this. So we want to say a big thank you, a big God bless you to every one of you from the depths of our heart and that the hand of the Lord will continually be upon you. We want to say thank you to the pastorate and the leadership of Old Baptist Church. Um, a big thank you to Christian Singh who've come all the way uh, from Lagos to the choir of Old Baptist Church. Um, thank you so much every one of you and God bless you indeed. Praise the Lord. The pamphlet will collect it, sir. Okay. Yes, we want to sing Alleluia Chorus in Yoruba language.
Hallelujah. Oh, we bere at you, Queen. I do look for you, girl. Be at the Jacob or Nan Shemo, a lot of people feel no one lay low. Cassie Becker, Lippe, Lou, and you see Mushe. I think you will go to lay low. I see Bill Kawalei, and you see Mushe, who you are receiving. Lua Baupewa, Lua Bayewa, Bobota, Sonic Baba Bawa. I want to call your law. You see, I was in Tom Lay. Uba Toku, Uluana, a law. Ki biya ye wa kuyi ilogo. Ki o bobota maashi koma buru koyiga. Afi eto tola le ilowo uluagba esakuso. Uluwa yira ilogo uluagba raiga. Jebi awe yati losile uluama bawalo. E pa eni koka ma e sami sare eni koka. Kolo kulo kudebute fero la ya talafia. Kya sura yo la leoni. Mada ba to pa delu la kama ni ilogo uluadu pa eti boti wa. Adu pa lawo ni tori pe e o mawa pa luma mawa. At a woman, a tea, John Long, a tea, Wula Papo, eh, ni Fenneke, ni Sile, in Tori Pet of Ape Kesi, and me walk when Louis to do Kuaye, who go for Koy Lukeru, Titi Lai, a Yolorua, New Ruko, Jesu Christi, Uluawa, Giafiara, Tokeni, Kokasabia, Bati Pamoloro, Alayi, Kiro Feti Baba, Ibuko Tioma, Idapote Mima, Agbara Mima Tio Babu Jula, Kuma Shijibua, Atoi Niwa Bubu. Lati akuku yi lo, titi lai lai, ami. Thank you. 